Most people in the world, 80 percent, live in countries where their religious activity is restricted by their government, and increasingly that persecution is severe. This week, people from across the globe representing 30 different faith traditions are gathering here in Washington to promote religious freedom. Please keep praying for my brother. Thank you so much. Some came to advocate for loved ones. Survivors told their stories. Persecution is very hard. Miriam Ibrahim made headlines when she refused to recant her Christian faith despite a death sentence in Sudan. It's choice that, you know, and because we are the Christian, we know our freedom is in Jesus. Tursurne Zayawudin is a Uyghur Muslim who managed to escape from a concentration camp in China. Her pain is palpable. She and other women were regularly raped, subjected to electric shock, and humiliated for the crime of their faith. Now she can't escape thoughts of her people continuing to suffer. Sometimes I think it, it would be better if I were back in the homeland with them, even if it meant death. I'm so shocked. The world is just sitting by and watching. The Chinese government is, has absolutely no shame about this. Despite growing awareness of global persecution, sometimes not even genocide garners enough aid or attention. Seven years after ISIS nearly wiped out Iraq's Yazidi community, much of their homeland remains uninhabitable. There's people dying of hunger and thirst, and it's like people, like I said, offer sympathy, but it's like at, at the end of the day, I was just exhausted and my family and people were still suffering, dying of lack of medical aid and thirst and hunger. For the Hungarian government, helping persecuted Christians is a moral obligation. Christians are the most persecuted religious group in the world. Tristan Asbe serves as state secretary for Christian aid. In four years, Hungary has supported a quarter million persecuted Christians, helped reconstruct 67 churches in Lebanon, and rebuilt the Christian town of Teleskuf, Iraq, after it was decimated by ISIS. 900 buildings were damaged. Uh, the church there was uh, used for target uh, practice by the jihadists. No matter their motivation, religious freedom advocates agree they receive much more than they give. They have a message to keep our identity, to keep our faith in, in, in Christ. There's no downside to religious freedom. Countries that practice tolerance enjoy greater stability and prosperity. Jennifer Wishon, CBN News.